Hi, welcome to the Simple Localize Updates video. This summer we added some great features to Simple Localize Translation Editor, so let's have a look. Text Editor Set the translation key type to Markdown here and open it in a new text editor where you can work on your longer text and even blog post in a more convenient way. Bulk Screenshot Upload Drag and drop your screenshots to the translation editor and assign them to the translation keys in bulk. Translation Actions Simply right-click on a translation key to access translation actions and settings. AI Actions Use AI Actions to get some help on your translations from ChatGPT. You can correct, shorten, extend or rephrase your translation automatically, like this one. Custom Translation Hosting Provider You can now configure a custom hosting provider to store your translations and have full control over published translation files. Quick Translation Export Export translations directly from the translation editor. You can first filter your translations or select some of the translations that you need to export and use the export translation feature, which will export only the translation that are displayed or selected in the translation editor. Refreshed project cards. With the updated project lists, you can now add projects to your favorites and you can open only missing translations in selected projects with just one click. Character limit. Control if your translations are not too long by setting up characters limit. You can do that in translation key settings. Comments. Work closer with your team on translations using the new comments feature. You can add a comment to the specific translation and you can mention a user so they get notified about your message. Language statistics. View project activity to learn more about the progress on your translations. Here you can see some basic statistics like missing translations or those that needs review and also top contributors, auto translation statistics and top languages. You can click on any user or language to see the details about their activity. For example, we can check the total translation changes made by this user and total time spent on their translations. Okay, I hope you like the new features and I can't wait for you to try them in your Simple Localize projects. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye!